so like out of the loop But someone sent it to me with the hope that I would be able to exploit it into the distribution media, whether it's MTV or... Any copies? Well, we're still trying to piece together exactly why. Did I, I did receive, through FedEx, a copy of this material, nine hours plus of raw material from their last hours at I that graduation that. party. Did you make any copies after you received No. The no, I have not. I have not. But what I have done is told people in the industry about the existence of this because to me it still could be a Blair Witch thing where it's all fictional, I just don't know. This is an FBI notice, an intention from Scotland Yard and the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I guess, I guess I will. I guess I do need to get to the hook. There is one thing that makes this special, and no one's ever seen something like this before. And if you would just do me the honor of clicking on the, uh, if you look at your, your email and, and pull it up right there on that screen. The other concept is essentially indoctrination. I got a link right there on the subject line. You just click that. It's going to take you to a page, a, a YouTube page, 22 seconds. Just watch that, and it'll give you the answer right. you're looking for I right now. It. Uh, pull it around. Did I, I did receive through FedEx a copy of this material, nine hours plus of raw material. I think that a bunch of 21 year olds thought that their life was so interesting. There is one thing that makes this special. No one's ever seen something like this before. And if you would just do me the honor of clicking on the, uh, if you look at your, your email, I got a link right there on the subject line. You just click that. 22 seconds. Just watch that and it'll give you the answer right. you're looking for right now. Uh, pull it right up and get get back to me after after you click it and watch that shit. I think you'll be quite entertained by it. I will do that. Okay, I, I'll wait right here. Someone thought that they would videotape this party. People are filmed all the time at parties. You know, it's like Animal House without all the togas. I think that that's what you have here. At a party, there's nothing that's private. There is no privacy at parties. A couple of things went wrong. Had this had gone, yeah. had they stayed alive. This is weird, man. This shit is crazy. Like, did the right thing. Yeah. 
went to school. Purpose of education, of course, there are uh, sharp differences on, on this matter. Mr. Lee, this is Bo Bassard. I'm actually with the New York Attorney General's office, and uh, I'm giving you a call in regards to some found footage you may have in your possession. This is weird, man. This shit is crazy. I did the right thing. Yeah. Went to school. Go to college. You meet new people. It's an experience. I had a hell of an experience. One of the college experiences. You go to the parties. You start to drink. Fuck your professors. You get an A. Fuck around campus. You get pregnant. You don't know who the father is. Is that what we're sending off to college to do? I mean, we're graduating from college. No matter how educated we are, what's an education? We still happen to be a bunch of idiots. If I could do it all over again in school, would I? Would I? I probably wouldn't. I'm an adult in a kid's body. And we still act like children. I get so drunk that I can't even remember what I, what I did last night. Why? Because I don't want to face reality. Someone thought that they would videotape this party. People are filmed all the time at parties. At a party, there's nothing that's private. There is no privacy at parties. Try to market it. These kids were going to be like the next big thing. Could be the next Jersey Shore. I think that a bunch of 21 year olds thought that their life was so interesting. It would have made for great TV. Something out of a movie. It sure felt like it could have been like some kind of reality show or like a crazy party scene from a movie. These kids were going to be like the next big thing could be the next Jersey Shore. I think that a bunch of 21 year olds thought that their life was so interesting it would have made for great TV. Something out of a movie. It sure felt like it could have been like some kind of reality show. Or like a crazy party scene from a movie. Try to market it, that's what I think. Could be the next Jersey Shore. Hmm. Wow. Sometimes life is stranger than fiction. I'm gonna be the average brother with soul. Oh! It sure felt like it could have been like some kind of reality show. Yeah. yeah. Have, 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 you, uh, have, have you seen this, sir? What do you think? Does, ain't that a game changer? I mean, ain't that a game changer? Can you believe them Them boys and girls went down like that? They all, they all died. They died burned to burned alive. They were, they, that's how they died. Uh, I'm saying every one of them. How many were there? Well, it was about 18, and that wasn't all of them. It turns out a couple of them had left the party for unrelated reasons, and it seems as though. Oh yeah, the bodies were found and and it was identi uh, identified, dental records correlated. You know the whole damn you know shig shabango. I mean, turns out one of these kids, uh, one of the, it was one of the girls. She was the daughter of a South Carolina. College, you meet new people. It's an experience. I had a hell of an experience. <laughs> One of the college experiences. Like Animal House without all the togas. Think that that's what you have? It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Someone thought that they would videotape this party, try to market it to various different outlets. These kids were gonna be like the next big thing had this had gone according to plan. <laughs> Send off to college to do. I don't see what the big deal was. There was no problem with them being filmed. People are filmed all the time at parties or wherever it is, you know, and uh, well, they have a right to their never, privacy, they have a right to their own lives. Yeah, but you know, private. when you're at a party, there's nothing that's private. Huh? There is no privacy at parties. Again, I think you may have a couple of civil suits from some some parents that may may may, may contradict that, but right, well, but we'll, that's not my concern and that's not my jurisdiction.
good time, uh, if you have, you have time before dinner, um, maybe you could, you could hop on Google real quick and, uh, I mean, it's no big deal, just, you know, if, if you get a chance, I mean, you know, don't, don't stress out over it. And, and put in a search for, uh, uh, defense attorneys, um, maybe, uh, OJ's people, if they're still around. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not under arrest, don't, I'm just, I'm just the leading suspect, okay, like, um, I didn't hear anything, I've just been kind of in my own little world, you know, I've made a lot of new friends, I've kind of been, kind of hanging with a new crowd, um, kind of like the popular crowd. Um, I go to like wine tastings, um, you know, the horse races, art galleries, um, Broadway plays. I haven't, I haven't, you know, really spoken to anyone since, since the shindig. I'm gonna be the average brother with soul. It sure felt like it could have been like some kind of reality show. But someone sent it to me with the hope that I would be able to exploit it into the distribution media, whether it's MTV. Did you make any copies? Uh, suffice it to say that there were very small cameras present throughout the home. Um, we'd like to think that they caught most of the pertinent uh, events of that evening. Um, why were there? Why were there cameras? What? It was just a party. I mean, it wasn't. Why? Why the? Why the cameras? Well, I have a copy of the tape, and I will forward right now. If you give me, a, um, a, you know, a, an email, I will have it within four seconds. So you have everything I have. So let's just stay friendly here, because the original tape. Uh, yeah, have, have, have you uh, have you have you seen this, sir? What do you think? Does, ain't that a game changer? I mean, ain't that a game changer? Can you believe them? Them boys and girls went down like that. They all they all died. They died burned to burned alive. They were they, that's how they died. How many well, it was about 18, and that wasn't all of them. It turns out a couple of them had left the party for unrelated reasons. And Are you telling me that you weren't aware that there were over 400 miniature cameras recording all of the events of that evening? What are you, what are you talking about? 400? Where, where were the cameras? I haven't seen any cameras. It seems as though... I know for a fact that, that they were home. Oh, yeah, the bodies were found, and, and it was identi uh, identified, dental records, correlated, you know, the whole damn, you know, shake and shebang. I mean... Had they stayed alive... So I got something real, so, so, so I got something real special for you that I think you really like. Just in a concise one sentence, please. Um, in a one sentence... Um, Concise pitch. Uh. This shit is crazy. So, what do you think? You're an asshole. What's an education? Did the right thing. Yeah. Went to school. And then nothing. So, 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 I got something real special for you that I think you really like. And just in a, in a concise one sentence, pitch, please. I'm not like your little whore or whatever. <laughs> No, you're not my whore. You're just my bitch. That's insulting. Do you know who I am? I know that I'm an adult in a kid's body. I mean, we're graduating from college and we still act like children. Why would you say all that, really? Are you kidding me? You're not friends with us anymore. So? It's cool. It's really cool. Look, all I'm saying is this, really. And I came for you. You want to be you're here. Asshole. You want to be here. I'm not forgiving you. This isn't an easy out for you. I don't want you to think that. I don't I don't know what's gonna become about me, but I just want you guys to know I'm happy. I'm complete with you guys here. As long we as love you it. guys stay. Oh. Oh. Not me. Not anybody I know who are talking to. I don't know what I wanna do. I actually have no idea. I don't know where my career is going. I just wanna live life and have a good time and have a lot of adventures. Uh, so I think you should consider a couple of things. Number one, these are uh, uh, college graduates of a very interesting university. This is a, um, a, a, an online university, ready? It's founded, it's based in New York, and founded by the, the younger brother of the a famous intellectual Noam Chomsky. <laughs>
I just want to say that once I graduate and after everything is done, that our degrees mean nothing because the economy is bad. So, <laughs> therefore... I agree. And I just want to reminisce back on when Angie had to get her stomach pumped out at the hospital. <laughs> I was really, really drunk. And I stayed there the entire night and missed my test. But you know, that's like a good friend of mine. So I felt like friends are for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so love it. And that's the college life. It's original, and uh, I'm excited about it. That's why I brought it to you first, because I thought, you know, you want to crack or something like this, because this is some Zach Diff. This, this is a game changer. This is a, a, a TV history kind of thing. But I'll tell you this. we got nine hours of it. It is. Yes, it is. Uh, you said, as you said, a game changer. Yes. Uh, it is a game changer. I do believe, and I cannot believe, I'm famous. No matter how educated we are, we still happen to be a bunch of idiots. I get so drunk that I can't even remember what I what I did last night. I drank myself to sleep at night. Why? Because I don't want to face reality. The graduation party is a television. Stop right there. Stop right there. No, sir. talked about it. Have to go. No. I want you there. I want you. I want you there. I have to go. I'm sorry. Look, look, okay. What the fuck is wrong with you going off and like sleeping? What are you guys even fucking? Sleeping. What are you doing? Fucking, I'm with him. I don't get how you could do this to me. Could do this to you? Let's be honest, sweetheart. Fine. Turns out one of these kids, uh, one of the, it was one of the girls, she was the daughter of a South Carolina... And here, here's the angle. To be honest, I've been a little embarrassed about the whole, you know, Angie dumping me thing. I felt a little stupid. Um, so they, it kind of, kind of sucked. Hmm. Kind of like, kind of felt like an ass. It's been kind of my own little world. You know, I've made a lot of new friends. I've kind of been, kind of hanging with a new crowd. Um, kind of like the popular crowd. Um, I go to like wine tastings, um, you know, the horse races, art galleries, um, Broadway plays. I haven't, I haven't, you know, really spoken to anyone since, since the shindig. Most of the cameras are the newest technology. There were some that were as small as a Tic Tac so that the events of that evening could be recorded. We haven't ruled out blackmail as another possible motive. This is this is a lot a lot to hear. I'm just I didn't I didn't know about why am I so like out of the loop? Other ones that were a little bit more obvious. Um, like the real world. I'm not familiar with that show, but uh, suffice it to say that there were very small cameras present throughout the home. Was there like a control room or something with with all the little little videos or what? Um, We'd like to think that they caught most of the pertinent uh, events of that evening. Just a party. I mean, it wasn't 400 situated throughout the house. That's why so. That's like a ridiculous amount of cameras. We're still trying to piece together exactly why. Designed from what we could gather, so that there would be no corner that would not be filmed. How would they somehow like a camera phone or something? Are you telling me that you weren't aware that there were over 400 miniature cameras recording all of the events of that evening? What are you, what are you talking about? 400? Where, where were the cameras? I didn't see any cameras. Like, I could understand maybe like one for each room and one for outside, but 400, that's, that's like a little creepy. Why, why, the, why the cameras? Those cameras were there, but I can tell you with millions of dollars worth of artwork, Suffice to say that there were very small cameras present throughout the home. Was there like a control room or something with, with all the little, little videos or what? Um, we'd like to think that they caught most of the pertinent uh, events of that evening. Designed from what we could gather so that there would be no corner that would not be filmed. So how would they somehow like a camera phone or something? Are you telling me that you 
weren't aware that there were over 400 miniature cameras recording all of the events of that evening. What are you, what are you talking about? 400? Where, where were the cameras? I didn't see any cameras. I don't know. I, I don't know who sent it to me, and I say that with the God's honest truth. It appeared as though they weren't going to have any dead zones. It was just a party. I mean, it wasn't. 400 situated throughout the house. That's why so, that's like a ridiculous amount of cameras. We're still trying to piece together exactly why. Like, I could understand maybe like one for each room and one for outside, but 400, that's, that's like a little creepy. Why, why the, why the cameras? But someone sent it to me with the hope that I would be able to exploit it into the distribution media, whether it's MTV or... So schools, universities carry out the job of indoctrination control more effectively in the society, which would prefer people to be indoctrinated, conform, not ask too many questions, be obedient, uh, fulfill the uh, roles that are assigned to you, and don't try to shake systems of power and authority. Uh, those are choices we have to make. Well, go to college, you meet new people. It's an experience. I had a hell of an experience. One of the college experiences. You go to the parties, you start to drink. Fuck your professors, you get an A. Fuck around campus, you get pregnant. You don't know who the father is. Is that what we're sending off to college to do? I mean, we're graduating from college. No matter how educated we are, what's an education? We still happen to be a bunch of idiots. <laughs> I don't know what to, like, what do I, I don't know. All right, and, I, and on <laughs> that note, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I know a lot of you by face. You're Evan. Evan, you're my boy. <laughs> you, you're pretty cool. Boy. We've had some good times. Lots of drinks. Um, <laughs> uh, fuck you. Fuck, fuck you. you. <laughs> You're pretty cool. Johnny <laughs> Crowley! And fuck you. I'm out. I just like, I can't believe it's done. I don't know. <laughs> no! Wait, don't. Uh, <laughs> okay, he's a big fan. I don't Oh, oh, it's oh, everything it's bad in life happens to you. It's all you. Yeah. <laughs> and you. <laughs> uh, I just want to say I've learned so much from you guys. So much about me. You guys are not my friends. <laughs> not all of you are my friends, but we. You guys have taught me a lot about myself. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> I love you though. <laughs> I just want to say thanks and, you know, hope there's some contact. If not, I'm still going to press forward at the end of the day. So, all the best. Cheers to you. Cheers. 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 Good luck to you, man. I love Cheers you. Love you, man. <laughs> If I could do it all over again in school, would I? Would I? I probably wouldn't. I'm an adult in a kid's body. And we still act like children. I get so drunk that I can't even remember what I, what I did last night. Why? Because I don't want to face reality. Someone thought that they would videotape this party. People are filmed all the time at parties. At a party, there's nothing that's private. There is no privacy at parties. Try to market it. These kids were gonna be like the next big thing. Could be the next Jersey Shore. I think that a bunch of 21 year olds thought that their life was so interesting it would have made for great TV. Something out of a movie. It sure felt like it could have been like some kind of reality show or like a crazy party scene from a movie. These kids were gonna be like the next big thing could be the next Jersey Shore. I think that a bunch of 21 year olds thought that their life was so interesting it would have made for great TV. Something out of a movie. It sure felt like it could have been like some kind of reality show. Or like a crazy party scene from a movie. Try to market it, that's what I think. Could be the next Jersey Shore. Hmm. Wow. Sometimes life is stranger than fiction. Did I, I did receive, through FedEx, a copy of this material. Nine hours plus of raw material. I must have been a little embarrassed about the whole, you know, Angie dumping me thing. I felt a little stupid. 
Um, so they it got kind of sucked. Hmm. Kind of like kind of felt like an ass. It's been kind of my own little world. You know, I've made a lot of new friends. I've kind of been kind of hanging with a new crowd. Um, kind of like the popular crowd. Um, I go to like wine tastings. Um, you know, the horse races, art galleries, um, Broadway plays. I haven't, I haven't, you know, really spoken to anyone since, since the shindig. Most of the cameras are the newest technology. There were some that were as small as a Tic Tac so that the events of that evening could be recorded. We haven't ruled out blackmail as another possible motive. This is this is a lot a lot to hear. I'm just I didn't I didn't know about why am I so like out of the loop? Other ones that were a little bit more obvious. Um, like the real world. I'm not familiar with that show, but uh, suffice it to say that there were very small cameras present throughout the home. Was there like a control room or something with with all the little little videos or what? Um, We'd like to think that they caught most of the pertinent uh, events of that evening. Just a party. I mean, it wasn't 400 situated throughout the house. That's why so. That's like a ridiculous amount of cameras. We're still trying to piece together exactly why. Designed from what we could gather, so that there would be no corner that would not be filmed. So how would they somehow like a camera phone or something? Are you telling me that you weren't aware that there were over 400 miniature cameras recording all of the events of that evening? What are you, what are you talking about? 400? Where, where, where were the cameras? I haven't seen any cameras. Like, I could understand maybe like one for each room and one for outside, but 400, that's, that's like a little creepy. Why, why, is it, why the cameras? Those cameras were there, but I can tell you with millions of dollars worth of artwork, suffice it to say that there were very small cameras present throughout the home. Was there like a control room or something with, with all the little, little videos or what? Um, we'd like to think that they caught most of the pertinent uh, events of that evening. Designed from what we could gather so that there would be no corner that would not be filmed. So how would they somehow like a camera phone or something? Are you telling me that you weren't aware that there were over 400 miniature cameras recording all of the events of that evening? What are you, what are you talking about? 400? Where, where were the cameras? I haven't seen any cameras. It appeared as though they weren't going to have any dead zones. It was just a party. I mean, there wasn't 400 situated throughout the house. That's why so? That's like a ridiculous amount of cameras. We're still trying to piece together exactly why. Like I could understand maybe like one for each room and one for outside, but 400, that's, that's like a little creepy. Why, why, the, why the cameras? Those cameras were there, but I can tell you with millions of dollars worth of artwork and um, a beautiful house like that, uh, obviously whoever rented this place uh, wanted to protect their investment. I think that a bunch of 21 year olds thought that their life was so interesting. <laughs> Someone thought that they would videotape this party. People are filmed all the time at parties. You know, it's like Animal House without all the togas. I think that that's what you have here. At a party, there's nothing that's private. There is no privacy at parties. A couple of things went wrong. Had this had gone, yeah. had they stayed alive. We'll go on the web, we'll, we'll do the whole damn shebang. I swear, it's gonna be <laughs> merchandising heaven. I'll tell you. It is vertically integrated and it is capitulated and it's going to be manipulated and it's going to be ridiculated. Take care now. I'll send her some shortcakes to you. I'll send her some shortcakes to you. All right, I promise, sir. Take care now. Okay. All right. Thank you. I've been trying to get him to tell you, so you should probably be mad at your boyfriend instead of me. How? Long has this happened? Been happening. Uh, it's been happening for a while. You're an idiot. You're a fucker. Do you not see yourself? I mean, she in front of everyone accepted your proposal, and then rejects you, and then makes out it with another guy at this party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I, I guess I'm stupid. I think of 
all the stupid fucking people I've met tonight, you're by far the stupidest. <laughs> Yeah. He's the smartest guy in the world, but I'm, I'm not a, I'm a winner, you know? And if you're afraid to look like a fool, you're never gonna have anything worth having, because everyone's made an ass out of themselves. Like, the guy who invented the, the light bulb, he, he fell a bunch of times, people were laughing at him. But he's awesome now. You, know, like, you wanna be here in the dark? What? Back to, but you said... What? You said I'm, I'm the stupidest... What? Like, what? I don't... Are you not? No! Try to be like this sophisticated... You know, sexy guy with your fancy boots, your fancy jackets, all fancy. You know, sexy guy. But write this down. You're stupid. Your scarf is stupid. I'm not the only stupid one in this room. I looked like a fool in a, in a room full of fools. You're a That's... fool. You seem like you have stupid moments. You, you do stupid things. Have you ever done anything stupid? You seem, you could be stupid. Anything stupid you've done? Anything recently that you could think of maybe make me feel a little better? Uh, I, I guess. You know, we all do shit. Yeah, like, what kind of what kind of shit? Yeah, I've, I've done stupid. Like shit. what? What? What stupid shit? Uh, I mean, well, I, you know, I crashed the car. But you know what? You, you fucking idiot! About it. Stop drinking. Stop driving. You're a fucking idiot. Make you fucking idiot. Thing. You're a stupid little man. And you're a stupid little chair. But what are your goals? I don't. Life? I don't need goals. I've. I have everything I need, and anything I want. What do I need? What do you have? You don't have any, what do you, you got a few dollars? A big wad of money in your pocket. You know, money can't buy happiness. Cause you seem like a sad little lonely man with all you, with your money. Do you have love? You know, answer the question. Have you ever had your heart broken? Okay. Have you though, pers personally? Yes, I mean, we all have, I think. I learned not to trust people. Life is about getting what you want. Being whatever you want, and do you have everything you want? No, and I'm never gonna get it. Do you have love? Do you love somebody? Does somebody love you? Let's be honest. We've been acquaintances for years, so don't act like, oh my god, how could you do this to me? It's not that serious. I don't even know how you think that he could be interested in you. Really? Because we are together, clearly. You're being delusional. Okay. Also, sweet. You know what? Shut up. Delusional that, that he actually keeps like. How can he even? Oh. I can't even. Oh, please. Don't. All right. All right. I've written letters, songs. I showed up to this bullshit ass party because I knew you would be there. I think that that's what you have here. At a party, there's nothing that's private. There is no privacy at parties. Try to market it. These kids were gonna be like the next big thing. Could be the next Jersey Shore. Who wants to see another one of those? Why would you say that to me? You think you could just go gallivanting around the world pretending to be a fucking rock star? No, it's honestly disgusting. I didn't invite you to this party. I can't believe you showed up here. Stop. You're acting like you don't even want me here. Yeah, like, I honestly. don't want you here. It isn't the degrees, uh, the college degrees that makes them interesting. It ain't what they say that makes them interesting. It ain't well any of the, the plot lines from, you know, a love triangle. Oh my God. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? kidding? What the to a, uh, 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 you know, a marriage proposal that's accepted then rejected. You know, I took a shot and it didn't work out. That's life, man. You get back on the horse. Fucking sea biscuit. I'm gonna. I'm. And I looked like a fool. About uh, in, a, in a betrayal and cheating between many different couples and and and, and, a, and a baby lost in, in, in an abortion and 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 a, a pregnancy that happens unexpectedly and a mushroom chip. A uh, mushroom chip. Can I talk to myself? as myself in the future talking to myself from the past where a woman talks to her future self uh, it's com it's out there man it, this is like fellini meets uh, you know i don't know man it's just like out there heavy uh, and giving you 3 minutes okay well I guess I guess I will. I guess I do need to get to the hook. There is one thing that makes this special, and I've never seen something like this before. And if you would just do me the honor of clicking on the, uh, if you look at your your email and, and pull it up right there on that screen, I got a link right there on the subject line. You just click that; it's going to take you to a page, a, a YouTube page. Twenty-two seconds. Just watch that, and it'll give you the answer right, you're looking for I right now. It. I have it right here. All right, pull it right up. And... I will do that. Okay, I, I'll wait right here. Still of the night, I held you. I'll tell you, I appreciate it. Cheers, man. Great.
great offer from a nonprofit organization in Boston. So wow. I'm looking into it, but hopefully it'll all work out. It has been done to death, and no. I think that a bunch of 21 year olds thought that their life was so interesting. People are filmed all the time at parties. You know, it's like Animal House without all the togas. Held you tight. How I love, love you so. I promise I'll never let you go in the still of the night. In the still of the night, I remember that day. The stars were bright up And I pray to keep your precious love So before the night Hold me again with all of your might In the still of the night All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Are uh, you saying everyone, and how many were there? Well, it was about 18. It seems as I though... I know for a fact that, that they were home and they were burned alive. Oh, yeah, the bodies were found and, and it was identi uh, identified, dental records, correlated, you know, the whole damn, you know, shiggy shebang. I mean... They all, they all died. They died burnt to burned alive. They were that's how they died. Uh, a memorial for the 18 families of the grad party. Uh, so uh, of, the, of those lost in the grad party, uh, Inferno has been held. And that wasn't all of them. It turns out a couple of them had left the party for unrelated reasons. And Yeah, if you, 
if you get a time, uh, if you have you've time before dinner, um, maybe you could you could hop on Google real quick and uh, I mean it's no big deal. It's just you know if you, if you get a chance, I mean you know don't don't stress out over it and, and put in a search for a, a defense attorneys, um, maybe uh, OJ's people if they're still around. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not under arrest. Don't. I'm just. I'm just the leading suspect. Like, it was one of the girls. She was the daughter of. A South Carolina senator. I'm taking a tour with me. Would have made for great TV. Something out of a movie. It sure felt like it could have been like some kind of reality show. Or I'm, I'm a yeah. 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 Or like a crazy party scene from a movie. Try to market it. That's what I think. Could be the next Jersey Shore. Mm. Wow. Sometimes life is stranger than fiction. I'm gonna be the average brother with soul. Oh, Oh, you want to know about the party? Man, I'll tell you about the party. I'll tell you fucking everything you want to know. I'm, I lied about the drugs. I'm totally full of shit. There was tons of fucking drugs. There was, there was marijuana. There was cocaine. There was H. There was shrooms. There was a fucking mattress filled with weed. It was crazy, man. There was, there was girls kissing girls, guys kissing guys, kissing girls, um, blowjobs, sodomy, girl giving a donkey a lap dance. Um, there was stripper poles brought in, uh, girls dancing and, and ripping off each other's clothes and rubbing each other down with food of, like, whipped cream and, um, like, uh, chocolate sauce and I think even tartar sauce and, you know, condiments that aren't even sexy like mustards and, and pickle whip. <laughs> Yes, music is my life, but you know where you stand with me. You remember? You remember? Didn't you remember how we were? You remember sophomore year? I played that song for you. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to do something with my life. But this is your. This is what you're telling me to do all the time. You're telling me to just, you know, be above my father, be better than that, and I'm trying to. Okay. And now I've done something, and now you don't want me to do it. My dad doesn't know that I got it. So, so you're gonna tell him? No, I, I can't tell him. Why? Art? So? Art? You, you're really, you're really you, think, you think that my parents want me to go to art school? It's a joke to them. Art? Oh my god. They've seen they their stuff. They, they, they would rather me sit on a couch all day being fed grapes than go to art school. What he's doing, and it's good for the drama, is the fact that we'll be following this in a parallel sense to, 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 to all these other, you know, kind of retrospective events is that you have to understand that this is footage, nine hours of footage we have of these people's last few hours on Earth. Okay, that, that, that's just compelling television right there in and of itself. But it's then it, it, really it, 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 it makes it. I cannot recall any reality show, so-called reality show, with death as a uh, prominent feature. Action. Well, damn, this is some scary shit. But it's just, it was cool. Um, I don't know what you guys have in store. But probably take a year off, travel, have a good time, spend money before you owe it back. Lots of it. Yeah. That sucks That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, right? Thank you, Sally May. Um, thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Sally May. That's great. Um, but hopefully one day I'll have a little like cafe or something cool and you guys can all come back and I'll make a Facebook page for it. So you guys are all invited. You can like it and stuff and thumbs up. Um, but I don't know, it's like, it's a cool thing. You got a whole new world after you, and you got a whole new whole new vibe, and a whole new thing, and, and, and fuck it, man, you're probably not going to use your degree, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, whatever, try it all out, do it again, make some mistakes, spend all your money, whatever. It'll be cool, and good luck to everyone. <laughs> okay. Special shout out to all the girls who helped me on my oral reports. <laughs> Without all the oral presentations, I couldn't have passed college, and honestly, I wouldn't have my degree without you girls, and I fucking thank you. <laughs>
you always fall into like tubs with like filled with money and pains and quarters, but like I'm never sure if it's really mine or is it my future that's coming next to me. Is it either a dream or real life? So well, I'm doing my thing. It'll be really cool in five years or so when we have a reunion. Hurrah! So that'd be fun to see what you guys are all up to, huh? I mean, I kind of have a guess, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> a lot of it's dirty, so. <laughs> Very. of their young lives was to give it a, a poetic justice to try to find in a tragedy some source of, uh, of, of happiness uh, and also for the surviving families who would be deprived of a youngster who would have been uh, depleting the family of uh, part of their income because inevitably 80% uh, of these graduates return home without a job and go back to their room that they've occupied since they were two years old. Uh, we will be saved them that expense and supplemented that with the income derived from the rights exposure and exploitation from the monetization of the amortization from the terrestrialization of the Just getting a shot of you before her. Just getting. I mean, I just had like a million plans. I can't do anything now, you know? Mm -hmm. But really, I just feel like I see my life flashing before my eyes, and it's everything I never thought it would be. Why is that? Why can't that be negative, you know? I mean, I guess I have options. <laughs> you do. You have options. Planning my life since I was in high school. And I have no idea what to do. It's funny. That's, I mean, it's like not funny for you, but it's funny because I wrote my thesis about that, about the 2012 thing. And, like, how crazy, how crazy that would be in 2012 when everyone is either gone or things have changed or it's fucked up. And every single person is going through this change, whether it be not what they expected or whether it be a completely new life form or an end of a life form. And it's just like this, this almost like, chaos theory that that is that's an, an ending to something but could also be a beginning to something you know and it's like you're going through this thing and if you see your future the way that you planned it like ultimately 2012 everything's gonna fucking change if you're around to see it so it's like i mean i understand you're going through like a really tough time and i and i get it and it's scary and it's and it's like a life reflection about like what's gonna happen to you but I mean like sweetie it's gonna happen to everybody you know and it's just I think I think you gotta worry about it now because ultimately like we may only have like two years yeah, or we have the rest of our lives or so we have this infinite amount of time you know like who knows but it's like this is life and and we'll deal with it and Either you're going to create this little person, or you're going to have some options. <laughs> yeah, and no, I, I was supposed to have this career, you know, going into politics. 
And if I have an abortion, then... Then you're the only one who has to know. And me. <laughs> but you're the only one who has to know about it at that point, you know? Or have it. <laughs> Just an option. Yeah. Adoption. Could yeah. I do that? I don't know. I don't know. Could you do that? I just feel like I see my life flashing before my eyes and it's everything I never thought it would be. Mm -hmm. Why do people assume anyway that like a plus sign? Like a baby like is 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 an is a negative thing, you know? Like like if there's a positive I don't even know. Like like I see a plus sign. Some people wanna have a baby. Why do they assume that, like... A pregnancy is a bad thing, you know? Some people want to be pregnant. Like, sometimes that's... You know, like... Like, what people want. Like, like sometimes that's their entire future. Why do they, like, use a negative sign to... Was... Was <laughs> it a negative sign? Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I didn't even read the directions, I was just so freaked I out. I totally get that, man, I'm, that's, well that's like fucking hilarious, but that's, that's, that's good, this is great, this is like a really good thing. <laughs> this is a good thing. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Drink oh. up more, this is exciting, this is, this is oh your 2012, god. this is your big change, this is... <laughs> Oh, oh shit. my god, that's wicked funny. Well, it's not funny. I mean, it's... <laughs> it is pretty funny. Did you tell us it? Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> we broke up. <laughs> oh no. This is a good thing. This is a really good thing for you right now. <laughs> what? That's what funny. are you gonna do? I don't know. It wasn't like the best. <laughs> relationship anyway. Well maybe that's a good thing then. Fuck it, don't tell him. Just go. <laughs> Man, I'm wow. so bad. I are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> you thought that I thought you were pregnant? I was like negative. No, negative, was... no, positive yes. Like really? I don't know why. I just assumed I <laughs> This is terrible. terrible. You know what? Well I've never had to do that before. I've never mm -hmm. even I've only been with him. Yeah. Well, now you know. For next time. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> and use birth control. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Is that pulling what frame a trip. Episode. What a trip. Holy shit. Man. I am so glad that I was, I was like so freaking out. You know my roommate gave me shrooms. From yeah. Like, yeah, and I was just like, I was just in that place where I was like, I just want to escape, and I was just like, I was going to do them tonight, and just like crawl up in a ball. You were pregnant, like, you were going to do them? Do you see how much I've been drinking? That's true. Do you have Why them? would I? Yeah. Can I maybe swipe some? Yeah, I don't care. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. I'm going to pay you for them. Really? That's cool. <laughs> cool, man. Thanks. That's awesome. <laughs> a lot there. There are a lot there. That. Hello. It's cool. Philip. Sweet. It's cool. Uh, I probably your mom. You know what? I've experienced happiness in all of those, uh, in all those yeah. lives, which yeah. only I can experience um, on a level that I certainly never understood. And so, um, in a way, it's like this is your, in a way, this is her soul speaking to her, kind of like my, my, my. Put music to this part until we have the other person come in. So yeah, it doesn't really matter what your word the audio is, but I think you're doing great. In fact, I'm gonna get a lot of different angles and make a montage. Hmm. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. 
I skip. There are a lot of cool things that you're going to be doing in your life, and it's a really great thing when you can surprise yourself. And I hope that that always happens for you. And it's it's a great thing when you can take a risk and have no idea what you're doing and find something in it that works for you and take it somewhere else. Take it somewhere completely opposite of where you've been. And just to try it. Just to have a good time with it and see, see what's there. And maybe it's something that opens you up to something new and wonderful and, and inviting in this whole new world for you. So take every risk, make every mistake, and, and you know what, if you could do it again, just make a bigger mistake. Just have, do it full force, do it 100% every day, all the time. And you know, don't be afraid to, to be different, and don't be afraid to, to be everything all at once, or nothing at all. You know, when you're angry, be angry 100%. When you're sad, be sad, throw a tantrum, but then get over it, you know, give yourself Five minutes of pity a day and then move on. Life's too short, right? Sorry, I skipped. There are a lot of cool things that you're going to be doing in your life, and it's a really great thing when you can surprise yourself. And I hope that that always happens for you. And it's it's a great thing when you can take a risk and have no idea what you're doing and find something in it that works for you and take it somewhere else, take it somewhere completely opposite of where you've been, and just to try it, just to have a good time with it and see see what's there. And maybe it's something that opens you up to something new and wonderful and, and inviting in this whole new world for you. So take every risk, make every mistake, and, and you know, if you could do it again, just make a bigger mistake. Just have, do it full force, do it 100% every day, all the time. And, you know, don't be afraid to, to be different, and don't be afraid to, to be everything all at once, or nothing at all. You know, when you're angry, be angry 100%. When you're sad, be sad. Throw a tantrum. But then get over it, you know? Give yourself five minutes of pity a day and then move on. Life's too short, right?
and have no idea what you're doing and find something in it that works for you and take it somewhere else. Take it somewhere completely opposite of where you've been and just to try it. Just to have a good time with it and see, see what's there and maybe it's something that opens you up to something new and wonderful and, and inviting in this whole new world for you. So take every risk, make every mistake, and, and you know, if you could do it again, just make a bigger mistake. Just have, do it full force, do it 100% every day, all the time. All right, let's, let's who's in there? Who's that? Hello, Philip. it's cool. Philip, sweet, it's cool. Uh, I And, you know, don't be afraid to, to be different. And don't be afraid to, to be everything all at once or nothing at all. You know, when you're angry, be angry 100%. When you're sad, be sad. Throw a tantrum. But then get over it, you know. Give yourself five minutes of pity a day and then move on. Life's too short, right? She's like, I recognize you, I recognize you, I recognize you. Oh, I remember, yeah, so I'm gonna, okay. if I see things, I'm seeing things I remember you saying, right? Okay, all right. I recognize you, I think. You do. <laughs> was it the, um, I yes. think it was, no, no, was it the playoff, NBA playoffs? I went with my ex-boyfriend, were you? No. no. Think about it harder. Um, I'm tripping, so I'm not sure. Um, oh my you, you, I'll tell you this though, you, you could you could pass as my older sister if I had an older sister. Well, why do you say that? Well, you look like me, like, I don't know, like like me growing up or something. Mm, bingo. It's so kind of... Bingo. Yahtzee. <laughs> How are you? Wait, 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 I gotta get my head, wait, I gotta get my head around and start my, is this a real, right? You're not real, are you? I'm real. I'm here. Because you are tripping balls. Just to try it. Just to have a good time with it and see, see what's there. And maybe it's something that opens you up to something new and wonderful and, and inviting in this whole new world for you. So take every risk, make every mistake. And, and you know, if you could do it again, just make it bigger mistake. Just have, do it full force. Do it 100% every day, all the time. And, you know, don't be afraid to, to be different. And don't be afraid to, to be everything all at once or nothing at all. Who's that? You know, when you're angry, be angry 100%. When you're sad, be sad. Throw a tantrum. But then get over it, you know. Give yourself five minutes of pity a day and then move on. Life's too short, right? I have no idea what you're doing and find something in it that works for you and take it somewhere else. Take it somewhere completely opposite of where you've been. alarm fire and um, apparently one of the survivors of the grad party um, inferno as it's being called um, it was survived the fire only to have lost his life um, concurrently by um, suicide leaping off of a Manhattan skyscraper in the early morning hours following um, the soiree um, Um, both CAA and Comcast, NBC Universal are in damage control. Figure out from where those FedExes came. Okay, we got we got to track down that boy who sent me that email saying that he was the filmmaker. Okay, I need to get a meeting with him today.
Because when I talk to Mr. Brian and he's going to be pissed off to high hell, I got to fix this. Because obviously there's a mastermind. We just have to identify who the mastermind is. Uh, obviously one of the the, 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 the the people that are involved. I mean, one of those actors must have been the director, producer, if you will. But I do think I do have a line on the man who I don't think was in the party, who actually controlled the cameras remotely from uh, some type of studio and then did the editing. And he was the one that was sending them to me. I think these were set up the whole thing, the whole the whole nine yards. And look, I got I got I got moving boxes surrounded me because I, I'm you know I, I'm out of this town. I made enough money off this deal. I can go retire and just sit on the bayou and eat my crawfish, and I'm happy doing that. And I got my hounds, and I'll be fine. But I gotta set this right. And the way I set it right is this: I find that filmmaker. I find out what the hell he's doing, what he was thinking. You know, you got permission from everyone at the party to film them. Or not? Uh, mm -hmm. And when I find that filmmaker and find out what the hell he was thinking. I find out if they were really trying to do something wrong here or if it just was something that just got out of control. I don't know yet, but all I know is, and I guess they don't really, really understand the lives and the business and the bottom line that they're going to affect. They also may not realize the millions and millions of dollars we're going to make from all this. But again, there may be some moral and legal issues that uh, we may have to deal with that supersede the uh, profitability uh, uh, perspective. So uh, to summarize, um, this is an FBI notice and intention from Scotland Yard and the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Tonight, NBC premiered the um, first episode of the series, Grad Party, which is um, an edited version of the nine hours of footage which was acquired during the party. And um, recent um, web trends have released uh, the statistics that today on Google, uh, Grad Party was the top Google search in all worldwide searches. Uh, a bit of a twist today in the um, ongoing saga of the Grad Party. It turns out the dental records of some of the dead individuals have um, not correlated to their dental records. So it's uncertain now what this means. Uh, a breaking development in the ongoing um, uh, uh, Grad Party uh, situation. you will meet people in life that you do not like. Oh, sweet, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> she compliments you a couple of times so you can kind of look at your outfit because I know she points out some stuff like... Not entirely. Okay, Not and that was your you as a filmmaker. You knew about, of course, you know releases. But what? I mean, your your girlfriend said, "Don't bother." Or I mean, how? What was the whole? When you guys planned this, what was the idea going into it? I mean, according to according I mean, the to the idea to going into it was just filming a live setting party and uh, to see, I guess. I mean, people are really sick of reality TV, and this is this is the realest we're gonna get in, in, into uh, reality is by filming a, an actual um, party. According to the preliminary statements of the people that have taken your interviews, uh, you don't um, you don't deny being a, a part of of I don't even know what to call it the plan to videotape that party. You absolutely admit to being a part. Yeah, of Yeah, I admit to being part of the. Okay, so that's not in dispute. Okay, yeah, so really, and uh, we do respect the fact that you know you, we didn't have to go looking for you, but. What is the motive of, of coming to us? Um, I mean, at first we got these ribs and drabs of these scenes here, but what is your goal here? You, you, you're, you're making some type of Blair Witch film no, that no, I'm went trying. awry? I mean, I mean, excuse me a second. I, mean, I would really just like to clear my name. I had nothing to do with um, arson. I had nothing to do with arson. This was my girlfriend, you know, planned on filming this party as a reality thing, and I just wanted to... And you got permission from everyone? And the great part about it was we were going to film um, it was a live setting party, and that's what we want. That's what we intended to do. And uh, I mean, nobody necessarily needed to know about it per se, but we went about it in a way. I guess it would seem irresponsible. And uh, but you know, for the most part, we got um, we got what we set to do. Yeah, you got what you said to do. You, you, you certainly you captured reality. All that. You also. Um... <laughs> 
you also got a, 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 an ending that you say you had nothing to do with, but it, the ending is responsible for why your film is now widely known and actually on network television.